As we saw in the nested loop join, a simple refinement for retrieving tuples one page at a time can help improve the cost drastically. A similar observation, together with considering memory buffer capacity, can be used with applying the partitioning technique in block nested loop join. Note that the main cost we are trying to avoid in cost of the overall join operation is the IO cost. So what do we do? Let's start explaining the idea with a simple example. What if the outer relation in the nested loop, which is R, is small enough to fit into the memory? And fitting that into the memory, we still have some memory left, say at least two pages left, so that we can perform the scan for the relation S and produce the output. We can then scan the larger table, which we assume to be the inner relation S, into the memory block by block. And for each tuple in it, check the whole memory in table for matching tuples. If that is the case, the number of I/O operations can drop drastically to only be m plus n, as each table is scanned only once and their qualifying tuples are checked for output while in memory. But what if we do not have enough memory to hold this smaller relation? We can generalize this idea using partitioning, meaning we break the relation R into blocks that can fit into the available buffer. And scanning all of S for each block of R. The pseudocode shows this generalization. For efficient finding of the matching pairs of tuples, we can use a main memory hash table for the block of R. But note that hash table itself takes a space. And this introduces a trade-off in terms of number of tuples in a block. This is usually worth the effort. To estimate the cost of the block nested loop join, let's use the same parameters. So, again, assume we have m pages in relation R and each page containing PR tuples. Also, assume we have n pages in relation S and each page has PS tuples. An additional parameter here is that we have B buffer pages available. We use B minus two of those pages for outer relation R. We use one page for reading the blocks of inner relation S into the memory and one page for generating our output. The cost using these parameters will be M, which is the cost of reading relation R, plus the cost of reading S. S is a scanned total of M divided by B minus two times. This is ignoring the memory needed for the in-memory hash table. Each scan of S involves N pages and therefore costs N. So the total cost is M plus n times m divided by b minus 2. Back to the students and enrolled relations example. Assume we choose r to be our students table with 1000 pages and 100 tuples per page, and s to be our enrolled table with 500 pages. Additionally, here, assume that we do have memory for in-memory hash table for 100 pages of R. Using these numbers, the total cost is M, which is 1000, plus N times 1000 divided by 100, which is 10. The total will be 6000 I operations, a considerable reduction compared to nested loop join, which was 1000 plus five times 10 to the power of seven, or even compared to retrieving relations one page at a time, 
which yielded as the, at the cost of 501,000 IU operations. This is a considerable gain. 